This year, I discovered so many great apps and I made lots of videos about them. But still, there are some apps that I really like but I haven't got enough time to talk about. So in this video, before we get to 2021, I want to take some time to introduce these apps to give them a spotlight that they deserve. So if you've been watching my videos, you probably know my favourite apps such as Roam, My Mind, Sorted, Amplinode and Woven, all of which had a huge impact on me and helped me to get more things done and create more content. But I already talked about these apps in my previous videos, so I won't go into detail, but if you're interested, please check out my videos. Now let's get to the new apps that I really like but I haven't introduced yet. The first one is Shuffle. It's a um, podcast app, but it's not a usual one. They call it TikTok for podcast. What it means is that when you open Shuffle, you see a random short clip of a podcast, just like you see a random short video on, on TikTok. And you can scroll to listen to random short clips of podcasts like endlessly, which is actually addictive. So I usually use Air to listen to a podcast in full length, but I use Shuffle when I'm, you know, when I have free time or when I get bored and it's, it's really fun. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a fun way to listen to podcasts or discover a new podcasts. Speaking of which, another one of my favorite apps related to audio is this app called Eloquence, who is kindly sponsoring this video. I've recently discovered this app, and what you can do with Eloquence is that you can save any article, PDF, and email into this app, and it will turn them into audio so you can listen to them. For example, you can save your favorite article to Eloquence using its Chrome extension and listen to it on your phone. Recently, I shared my list of foundational practices, the basic things everyone should do to live better. Of course, my The reason why I think this is really useful is that I find it easier to listen to articles than to read them sometimes. So I could listen to the articles I saved while taking a walk or, you know, cooking. That way I can still learn something new. If you're interested, Eloquence is available for iPhone and Android and you can download it for free from the link in the description. And if you use this code, you get 50% off for your yearly subscription. The next one is this app called White Noise. I've been using this app for like two or three years now. As you might have guessed, this app plays white noise, as well as many other ambient sounds such as rain and fireplace, which I find really calming and relaxing. So I used to live in a house where the wall was so thin that you could hear your neighbor and their conversations. And they were really, really loud people and I couldn't sleep at night at all. Then I discovered this app and I started playing white noise while I sleep and it worked like a charm. Essentially the white noise blocked the noise from my neighbors and every other unwanted noise. So if you're having trouble sleeping, I'd recommend this app. The next one is Tempo. This is an email app that I really like. It's got such a nice minimalistic design, but what I really love about this app is this feature called batching. With the normal email apps like Gmail, you get a notification whenever you get a new email. But in Tempo, new emails are bundled together and delivered to you in batches, which means less notification and therefore less distractions. So once or twice in a day, you can sort your batches where you can put your emails in to-do folder, which is like reply later. You can set a reminder or you can archive it. It's a great app to reduce the stress of constant inflow of emails and focus on your important work instead. The last app I want to talk about is Walling. If you've been watching my videos, you probably know my mind, which is kind of like bookmarking app where you can save your, you know, favorite articles, videos, images, and pretty much anything on the web. Walling is very similar to that, but it has some features that my mind doesn't have. For example, in my mind, you don't have this place where you can see everything that you saved and you can use keywords and tags to search inside. But in Walling, you have a daily desk, which is very similar to what you have in my mind. You know, it's a place where you, you can see everything you saved. Then you have walls, which you can use for different projects and themes. For instance, this is just an example wall, but if you're writing an article, you can do, you know, a brainstorming and make a bunch of bricks. Also, you can create a new section where you can gather some items you saved. So if you want to gather every item related to apps, you can use a tag apps. Then use these items to write your article or, you know, do your project. It's a really cool app that I think is going to be very popular in 2021. 
All right, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think and your favorite apps you discovered in 2020 in the comment below. Okay, I wish you a very happy new year and I will see you in the next video. Bye.